Uh, good morning. Uh, my uh, name is uh, Dr. Ziad al I'm uh, going to participate in teaching the uh, immunology uh, course uh, for the uh, Benton uh, students. And, uh, today's uh, lecture is going to be about the uh, overview of the uh, immune system. Okay, uh, so the word uh, uh, immunology came from the Latin uh, word, uh, it means uh, immunatus, uh, which means uh, uh, an uh, exemption uh, from or uh, uh, free uh, here, uh, or what we call uh, uh, protection. Uh, and uh, uh, also the uh, science of uh, immunology or our uh, defense in general has the uh, uh, properties of uh, diversity, uh, specificity, specificity uh, and uh, uh, memory. Those are the most important the three features of the uh, science of uh, immunology. Um, uh, also, uh, uh, the, uh, our uh, immune system uh, has what we call an uh, effector uh, cells that has the ability to uh, destroy uh, the uh, invaders. And many uh, scientists really start thinking about uh, uh, this uh, property. Uh, for example, the uh, first uh, scientist uh, by the name of uh, to uh, here in uh, 430 uh, BC, uh, he thought of uh, the science of the disease uh, uh, plague and noticed that uh, people that are getting uh, a plague and recovered from that uh, disease uh, uh, doesn't get uh, that uh, disease uh, uh, again. And uh, many people also uh, they start uh, uh, thinking or notice uh, this uh, 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 property uh, uh, again, like the Phoenicians, uh, for example, uh, Turks, uh, and uh, uh, many others, uh, for example, the uh, 15th uh, uh, century uh, also no noticed uh, the same uh, uh, phenomena. Uh, the father of immunology. Uh, is a, a scientist uh, by the name of uh, uh, Edward uh, uh, Jenner. And Edward uh, uh, Jenner is called the father uh, of uh, immunology because he noticed that uh, the uh, uh, people that are getting uh, uh, sheep uh, pox, uh, for example, uh, 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 they don't uh, get uh, the uh, disease smallpox. Uh, 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 here at all, and so uh, he starts noticing that if people are uh, uh, getting uh, uh, this uh, the cowpox, uh, not the sheep uh, box, the cowpox, if they get the cowpox, they don't get uh, uh, get smallpox uh, uh, again, and they start uh, thinking of uh, uh, giving people uh, cowpox, so they won't be getting the, uh, the smallpox uh, 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 again. Uh, Louis Pasteur, uh, also in the 19th uh, uh, century uh, over here, he noticed also the same phenomenon that when people are uh, getting an infectious uh, uh, disease, uh, they won't be getting that in, in infectious uh, uh, disease uh, 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 again. So uh, he, he started, uh, uh, or he started being called as the uh, father of uh, uh, immunology. Many other scientists also noticed uh, uh, that many uh, uh, cells of our uh, immune system has the ability uh, to phagocytose or uh, engulf uh, uh, other uh, cells. And uh, this has been uh, added to the uh, uh, science of uh, medicine in 1830, uh, for example, uh, a man by the name of uh, Ili Michinkov. Uh, for example, notice this uh, phenomenon that we call now uh, phagocytosis. Uh, also, uh, uh, many others uh, also they have uh, contributed. Uh, for example, uh, uh, Bruce, uh, who uh, discovered the uh, disease we call Procella, uh, for example, 
uh, and uh, many others, uh, for example, uh, like uh, uh, Landsteiner or Karl Landsteiner, Karl Landsteiner. Uh, he is the scientist who uh, uh, discovered, for example, the food uh, group, and, and this has to do with the uh, uh, basic food groups that we know nowadays, uh, like uh, food group uh, uh, O, food group A, food group B, uh, Karl Landsteiner. Uh, also, uh, many others uh, have uh, contributed in, in, into that. Uh, also, uh, like uh, for, for example, uh, Sid Wonky and uh, uh, Rikonsky, uh, many of uh, those also they have contributed to the science of uh, uh, immunology. Uh, a very important uh, uh, concept in uh, immunology, uh, uh, which is, uh, we call it the instructional uh, uh, versus the clonal selection theory. Uh, and we mean by that, uh, uh, do we have in, in our body uh, 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 something that will give instructions uh, to cells to start, for example, the function? Uh, or uh, here the uh, uh, cells uh, they are already uh, present in, in our body and then they will be selected to perform that particular function. immune system uh, is uh, mainly uh, uh, divided into uh, two main uh, uh, categories. The first one we call it the uh, innate and the, uh, the second one we call it the uh, adaptive. The uh, uh, innate, uh, we mean by that, uh, is the things uh, natural or the things that we are uh, born with and the uh, uh, adaptive as the ones that will uh, uh, develop uh, later. So in the uh, innate, for example, uh, here we have uh, uh, to think of uh, many uh, examples uh, that has been uh, the properties of uh, uh, non-specificity and uh, no uh, memory that is uh, involved uh, uh, here. So it's not specific, and it can act uh, in, in, in general, and it doesn't remember like the first time, like the second time, like the third time, uh, and so on. So and, and, and both are uh, in, important: the uh, innate and the uh, adaptive. And if we have a defect uh, in those, uh, then uh, we are going to become uh, what we call immune compromised or our uh, defenses are going to be uh, uh, weakened. That means uh, here for the, uh, uh, the general, for uh, the natural, or, or with the uh, adaptive uh, immune system. Uh, so uh, uh, this concept in uh, immunology is uh, uh, extremely uh, uh, important, the innate and the adaptive. Uh, when we are uh, vaccinated or when we are uh, uh, infected, the first line of defense, we call it, uh, is the, uh, uh, the, the innate, the ones that we are uh, born with, like you know, the mucous membranes, the skin, for example, and so on, that will uh, protect us against the uh, infection. Uh, but in the uh, adaptive, this is specific when our immune system is going to uh, recognize uh, those uh, infectious agents specifically, and then our immune system uh, is going to uh, uh, remember them for the second time. Uh, so uh, this is the concept of uh, what we call uh, the uh, vaccines or uh, the uh, vaccination. So when we vaccinate, this is specific. Uh, it is uh, what we call the adaptive uh, 
the immune system where we need our uh, uh, body to remember uh, that uh, infectious agent for the second time. So the uh, 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 questions that uh, we need uh, to answer in immunology <laughs> is uh, how uh, our body uh, 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 here uh, defend itself uh, against pathogens uh, in general. And also the second question, uh, how a pathogen uh, succeeds in, in breaching the body's uh, 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 defenses or, or eliminate it, and how it can eliminate our defenses, uh, the uh, pathogen, so it becomes a successful uh, pathogen. And also, a very important point to know uh, uh, here, how our uh, body uh, uh, remembers a, uh, a prior uh, exposure to a pathogen. Um, there is, uh, in general, or uh, infants, uh, when they are uh, present uh, in the uterus, usually they are uh, protected from the uh, environmental microorganisms, uh, viruses, uh, fungi, uh, bacteria, and so on. And their first uh, exposure to those microorganisms are uh, when they leave the uterus or when they are uh, born. And uh, usually this will uh, cause an increase in what we call uh, the infant mortality rate. So babies, uh, they will have a, 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 the death rate is higher when they come out of their uterus. So we have to protect those babies uh, from those uh, infectious uh, agents uh, against viruses, bacteria, or protozoa uh, by what we call uh, vaccines. So in, in, in this is slide, and, uh, it will show the uh, uh, different mortality rate and uh, uh, its uh, uh, significance, and you can compare uh, the infant mortality rate in many different uh, uh, countries. So the countries that they have a very high uh, uh, level of uh, 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 health or uh, hygiene or uh, vaccination uh, programs, the infant mortality rate is much, much less uh, compared to other countries. So if we look into this slide, we can see that the infant uh, mortality rate uh, here, for example, in uh, Afghanistan, is much, much higher, uh, for example, compared to the infant mortality rate that's present uh, in, uh, uh, in Japan or in the, the, the United Kingdom in, in general. And this, of course, has to do uh, with the uh, effective vaccination programs that are present uh, in these countries. So this uh, slide uh, explains the same uh, concept of infant uh, mortality rate that we were uh, talking about, uh, uh, showing in uh, the world uh, countries how people uh, usually are exposed to contaminated uh, water in, in general. Uh, and so water becomes a major source uh, of uh, uh, infection in uh, these uh, countries. Okay, so uh, 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 this slide will uh, 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 explain the uh, concept of uh, the uh, uh, non-specific uh, uh, immune response uh, or what we call the innate immune response like uh, the uh, skin and the uh, mucous uh, membranes and how if you have breach in uh, those uh, then you will be more susceptible uh, to uh, infection. Second, in phagocytosis, you have it in, in palame, and also if you have a defect in those, you will be more susceptible uh, to infection. And the other one is uh, what we call the complement, and uh, that complements uh, our uh, uh, immune system, the uh, complement uh, uh, components, uh, and how those they play a major role in uh, defense, besides what we call the interferons, like alpha, beta, and gamma. Yeah, interference. 
how the uh, concept of uh, phagocytosis is an extremely important uh, here uh, to protect us uh, against the infection. And uh, if you have a problem uh, with the uh, phagocytosis in general, like lack of uh, phagocytic cells or the phagocytic cells that do not perform uh, their function right, then you will be more susceptible uh, to uh, infection. So uh, this is why we show you uh, that if you want to heal at small particles, for example, in general, and how the uh, phagocytic cells in general, they come and uh, engulf uh, uh, those trying to protect us uh, against the infection. So the uh, concept of uh, phagocytosis is uh, extremely important in uh, protection against the uh, infection, and you can see the phagocytic cells in this uh, slide, and how microorganisms or bacteria and they are going to adhere into the phagocytic cells to start with, and then they will be taken uh, inside by the phagocytic cells so they can uh, uh, hear clear uh, our body from uh, uh, bacteria in general. So the uh, concept of uh, uh, defense in general, uh, following uh, the uh, innate or the non-specific, uh, followed by the adaptive uh, uh, immune uh, response or the specific immune response, and, and, and this is going to be uh, mediated the specific immune response with, with uh, what we call uh, the uh, lymphocytes, the uh, B and the uh, T cells. Uh, uh, in uh, 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 general, and uh, those usually they uh, uh, get uh, activated by molecules, usually protein or carbohydrates and so on, that we call them uh, uh, antigens. And uh, this process is going to take uh, uh, time uh, uh, here to uh, develop you to develop seven to ten uh, uh, days and uh, and half. Also, this uh, specific or adaptive immune system has the uh, ability to recognize uh, uh, self from uh, uh, non-self as well. And uh, so, uh, self they will not uh, attack, while the non-self they are going to uh, attack. Those substances uh, that will induce the immune response in the specific uh, 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 immune system, we call them antigens or antibody. Uh, generators uh, in, in general, uh, they uh, usually function through what we call uh, recognition uh, molecules, you know, or uh, uh, epitopes, so uh, uh, antigens, or what we call the determinants of uh, uh, infection, we call them the uh, epitopes, uh, for example. Uh, uh, also, uh, here we uh, the uh, uh, or the ha uh, haplotypes. Uh, sorry, in the form. Uh, uh, epitopes are sorry are the antigenic determinants or what we call uh, epitopes. So those are the most specific parts here of the molecule that are going to be recognized by. Uh, our specific or adaptive uh, uh, immune system that is uh, uh, mediated by uh, uh, here two types of cells, the B cells that are going to give us uh, uh, antibodies uh, in, in general, and the T cells that are uh, going to kill the ones that we call T cytotoxic cells, or the ones that are going uh, to help, like what we call T helper cells, by secreting, uh, uh, helping, or accessory. Uh, uh, Molecules. All of those, as we are going to see, are going to be uh, mediated by uh, what we call uh, uh, here the major histocompatibility uh, complex of the HLA system, and those uh, they play a major role in the uh, adaptive or in the specific uh, immune response. Okay, so the uh, uh, adaptive or the uh, acquired uh, immune uh, uh, system is going to <coughs> the outcomes uh, of that is uh, uh, function through what we call the immunoglobulins or uh, antibodies uh, 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 in general. 
but they also had a very, very important um, uh, defense uh, against uh, infection. Those uh, we call them uh, that they are clonally distributed. That means that they can usually from a, a, a single source that is going to uh, multiply and then will be distributed uh, all over our uh, uh, body. Uh, sometimes I'm part of uh, our uh, 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 immune system, but sometimes it could be related to uh, uh, to, to modification of the uh, cell. So our body will recognize self antigens after they get modified as foreign, and then our immune system will attack that, causing what we call autoimmune uh, uh, diseases. A very important point to remember uh, here about. Uh, the function of the uh, uh, specific immune response or the adaptive uh, is what we call memory swap, or but we will remember those uh, uh, antigens for the uh, second time, and that's uh, how we make uh, uh, the vaccines. So, nowadays, for example, uh, we have the corona uh, uh, vaccines, so our body is going to remember the coronavirus when we get infected. And again, so we will be uh, uh, protected. Some of the infectious agents, very, very important. We call them that they are very evasive, that they have the ability to uh, deceive our uh, uh, immune system. So they can stay in the environment for a longer period of time and they can infect us uh, uh, more than uh, uh, once. So remember, uh, influenza. Uh, is so evasive that means uh, that they have the ability to uh, become a successful pathogens by changing their uh, the structure of their uh, antigens and then infect uh, us uh, more than uh, one time. So uh, uh, this slide uh, uh, explains the concept of what we call the uh, clonal uh, selection theory which is a, a major uh, phenomena uh, of the adaptive uh, uh, immune system. And this is, uh, for example, in making uh, antibodies, the uh, uh, B cells. So the B cells, for example, in our body uh, have uh, so many different uh, clones. But just one of them is going to have uh, a specificity uh, for the virus or for the uh, antigen. When it gets uh, exposed, as you can see, it's going to be selected and then it's going to uh, uh, multiply and then it's going to uh, produce so many cells that will uh, give you antibodies uh, uh, in your body that remembers uh, the infectious agent uh, uh, that we got infected uh, the uh, first time give us a massive amount of antibodies uh, uh, ready for protection. So if this is a coronavirus, then we are going to have so many uh, antibodies uh, against the uh, coronavirus. So this slide uh, 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 explains uh, the uh, clone selection theory and the phenomena of how those uh, uh, B cells are going to be exposed uh, to the uh, foreign Antigen, so we can see how those uh, uh, cells are going uh, to be uh, exposed, and then the antibody uh, uh, is going to be produced and following that uh, exposure. Okay, so some of uh, the uh, uh, successes that we talk about the uh, adaptive uh, uh, immune system is uh, to make uh, the uh, vaccine. So vaccine that really uh, helped uh, humanity over uh, the years to protect uh, humans uh, against many uh, infectious diseases. Not just that, but also what we call organ transplantation in the heart and the heart in the heart and the heart and the heart and how uh, an organ can be accepted in our body and not uh, uh, being uh, uh, rejected. Also, very important uh, point uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, the uh, adaptive immune system is the uh, uh, treatment uh, of uh, hereditary uh, 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 
defects uh, in the immune system that we can sometimes uh, give uh, immune globulins uh, by the implants, uh, uh, transportation or just uh, uh, give uh, patients uh, uh, see how that contains antibodies uh, and so on. And uh, also, uh, the drugs that uh, uh, we use uh, uh, here uh, that will uh, contain, uh, control the allergies of the uh, many hypersensitivity reactions nowadays are uh, controlled by what we call uh, immunosuppressive uh, agents uh, uh, in, in general. It's not just that, but also in the lab, uh, we can uh, make specific antibodies uh, against many infectious uh, agents that have the same specificity in what we call uh, monoclonal uh, uh, antibodies. Uh, and this is uh, one of the major contributions uh, in uh, medicine. Uh, also, the uh, treatment of uh, uh, cancer in general and uh, autoimmune diseases in general. Uh, so our uh, 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 immune system has uh, contributed a lot for, for the uh, treatment of uh, uh, cancer and uh, autoimmune diseases by suppressing the immune system in autoimmune diseases and treatment of uh, cancer in general. Uh, this uh, slide uh, talks about the uh, uh, medical uh, successes of uh, uh, vaccines in nature and uh, it talks about the hepatitis B virus and how medical students and physicians working for example in a hospital by an accidental needle uh, injection could be infected with the virus and they could develop a hepatitis B infection uh, and hepatitis and uh, liver cirrhosis could lead to uh, uh, liver uh, uh, failure and how a simple uh, procedure of uh, uh, vaccination by uh, vaccinating people uh, in general against the hepatitis B virus uh, can uh, uh, protect people working in uh, the medical field against this uh, uh, dangerous uh, virus. Uh, so this slide shows the uh, concept of uh, hepatitis B and uh, virus and uh, liver cirrhosis and the jaundice that is going to be caused by the hepatitis B virus. Uh, so the yellowish discoloration of the uh, sclera uh, explains that the patient is having uh, hepatitis B following uh, needle injection until proof otherwise. Okay, this, uh, uh, a slide uh, uh, explains also the uh, differences between the any of the adaptive immune system and how the uh, influenza virus is so diverse. Uh, and so, if you look into this patient, uh, when this patient uh, uh, coughs, so you can see there's so many uh, droplets that they will go into the uh, air and then lays down uh, into many uh, objects that could contaminate. Uh, uh, here our hands and then we could be infected with the influenza virus or even the uh, coronavirus uh, uh, as uh, such. So, uh, this slide uh, shows again the, uh, uh, the differences between the uh, adaptive uh, and the uh, innate uh, immune response. Two important features that you should remember later on. Uh, the innate is usually not specific and non-memory, while the uh, adaptive uh, is, uh, is specific and it has memory at the same time, so we can make uh, vaccines uh, out of that. And this uh, uh, slide that now shows the uh, significance of the uh, adaptive immune system in what we call transplantation immunology, and we will be talking in details about that and this patient, for example, uh, 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 is doing what we call uh, uh, hemodialysis uh, and uh, waiting for the, uh, the transplantation to take place. If uh, this patient, if he doesn't uh, take uh, uh, or uh, get uh, a transplanted kidney, he is going to die. You know. uh, otherwise, he should be doing uh, uh, hemodialysis. Uh, uh, 
just continuously uh, twice or three times a day, uh, every uh, week. Okay, this uh, uh, slide uh, uh, summarizes uh, 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 main categories of, of our uh, uh, immune system. The innate, uh, non-specific, are the one that doesn't have uh, memory, and the adaptive, uh, specific, and uh, the one that has uh, 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 memory. And we will see how both the uh, in it and the adaptive uh, the immune system uh, can provide uh, uh, the protection of uh, our body against uh, microbes uh, in general. We will see that the adaptive uh, the immune system is, is going to be mediated. Uh, here it uses the two arms, uh, the T and the E cells, where those are the main two components of the adaptive. Uh, uh, in your system, and we'll talk in details about those how the T and the D cells can provide uh, uh, here the uh, uh, protection. The D cell uh, can change to what we call plasma cells and then produce uh, uh, antibodies and more uh, memory cells. And the T cell can provide uh, help to the D cell uh, to provide that particular uh, uh, DNA system. Uh, this slide uh, uh, shows a, a summary of uh, uh, our uh, uh, innate uh, uh, immune uh, system. Uh, like, for example, we'll start with the uh, phagocytes, uh, phagocytic cells uh, in general, and the non-binding uh, lectin uh, of the uh, complement uh, system as well. So phagocytosis and complement. Uh, those are you know, non-specific, no memory. Uh, as I said the, uh, before, uh, phagocytic cells, the uh, most common components of those are the neutrophils, neutrophils in our body, as well as the uh, macrophages. I will talk in more details about those and how macrophages, they are bigger than uh, in neutrophils and they have uh, more functions beside uh, phagocytosis. And also we have other cells that we call natural uh, killer cells, also that can uh, kill cells and clear them uh, from our uh, body. Also, we have substances that are produced from uh, lymphocytes, we, we call them uh, interferons. And we'll talk about those also later, about alpha, beta, and gamma uh, interferons, and how those they can uh, uh, provide uh, protection uh, against infection in uh, general. The uh, innate and the adaptive immune system, they are not uh, working alone, but they are interconnected and they help each other uh, in providing uh, uh, defense uh, for our body. Now we'll talk about the um, uh, adaptive uh, the immune system, the one that has the uh, specificity uh, and the uh, 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 memory. So uh, it is uh, specific, uh, the one and the only, yeah, so uh, uh, distinguishes self from non-self. So this is a major function of the adaptive. And uh, if it recognizes uh, self, then it has to be deleted uh, or uh, changed or inactivated. Otherwise, uh, the uh, adaptive immune system is going to destroy uh, itself in what we call autoimmune disease. So this uh, uh, system is so diverse uh, here of uh, antigen receptors. We have so many antigen receptors, uh, molecules, so they can recognize the uh, foreign uh, antigens uh, or bacteria, virus, and so on, and this to destroy them. Uh, we have so la large number of uh, uh, genes that are involved so they can produce receptors for uh, antigen uh, receptors uh, molecules in order to be recognized and not removed from our uh, body. Uh, 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 here, uh, uh, 
uh, somatic. So uh, uh, those genes that are going uh, uh, here to uh, uh, function uh, for the DMVT cell uh, uh, receptor sometimes uh, they could have what you call somatic mutations. Uh, so uh, they are so diverse and so many uh, in our body. So uh, the, uh, uh, the receptors uh, here that are present in our body are uh, present prior to exposure. I mean, already uh, we are equipped with those that are determined uh, uh, genetically uh, uh, here. So then they will be activated and then they are going to produce uh, uh, antibody to activate uh, the DNP uh, uh, cell. This uh, point is extremely important to know that the receptors on the DNP T cell uh, are already uh, uh, present uh, and, and formed, as I said, uh, 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 by inheritance before exposure to an antigen. So, uh, uh, when those are exposed, the receptors of the B and the T cells, uh, or then they are going to be expand, so we call it the clonal uh, expansion, uh, uh, and then they will be selected, we call that the, the clonal uh, uh, selection theory. And this is very, very important to know that the B and the T cells, they have receptors that we are born with, uh, uh, genetically, uh, this is what we call the clonal selection theory. Uh, when we they are exposed with the uh, foreign antigens, then they are going to be selected and then they are going to be expanded in order to produce uh, the uh, 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 defense. Uh, uh, so this is what you call the uh, 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 self. Uh, uh, self uh, 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 selection, right? uh, uh, self re uh, receptors. I mean, the self receptors, as I said, then uh, uh, must be deleted uh, here or inactivated. Otherwise, then we could develop what we call autoimmune disease. So this uh, point is extremely important to know in the clonal selection theory that the receptors for self. Uh, they should be deleted or inactivated, otherwise the body is going to attack uh, uh, itself. Okay, this, uh, uh, this slide uh, uh, shows uh, four uh, uh, figures. Uh, and you can see that we explain what we call the uh, clonal uh, selection uh, theory. So uh, uh, if you look here uh, on the uh, lymphocytes, the, the lymphocytes that are uh, uh, responsible uh, for providing us with different specificities to uh, uh, antibodies. Uh, the second picture is they have uh, to meet uh, the uh, antigen the receptors uh, with the uh, antigen that forms uh, the bacteria or viruses uh, or uh, whatever. When that is selected in the third uh, picture over here, uh, then that clone is going to be uh, selected, as you can see, uh, and then it's, it's going to divide uh, in the fourth picture here, uh, and give you so many other uh, cells of the same uh, specificity that are going to give you lots of antibodies uh, to defend uh, our cells uh, against that particular uh, virus or bacteria uh, or foreign antigen that enters our body. Well, this slide uh, uh, shows how uh, the uh, uh, different uh, genes are going to be involved uh, to cover that task uh, and the differences between the adapted immune system uh, and the uh, innate uh, immune system. So here in the innate immune system, uh, as you can uh, see, uh, we don't need that many uh, genes to be involved uh, to cover up uh, for the different specificities that are present. While in the adaptive immune system that uh, needs uh, diversity, specificity, uh, and uh, uh, memory in order that to be uh, achieved, 
uh, you require so many genes that are going to provide you with so many different specificities from an antigen recognition molecules uh, in order to cover that task that we have uh, talked about. Okay, so this uh, slide will uh, explain the uh, clone selection theory and how these uh, uh, lymphocytes have uh, so many different uh, clones with different uh, specificities that have to meet their antigenic uh, uh, counterparts. Uh, so uh, here if you look into the uh, first uh, part of uh, the slide I can show you so many uh, uh, B-cells with different specificities or with different uh, uh, shapes. Here, so each B cell now has a different type uh, of a, uh, a receptor. For one reason or another, if those receptors uh, uh, recognize the uh, uh, self antigens here, then those lymphocytes are going to bind into the tissue self antigen, and then our immune system is going to destroy uh, our uh, self cells. And this is what we call uh, autoimmune uh, disease. So this doesn't have to take place in our body. But if something goes wrong and those that modify for one reason or another, then our immune system could attack our own tissue and destroy uh, our self, what we call autoimmune disease. So we are talking about uh, components of our immune system of the adapted uh, the immune system that has uh, the uh, capability uh, of uh, specificity and through the uh, uh, receptors, diversity, there are so many that are present, uh, and memory that our body remembers those uh, 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 molecules that has been present in our body for the second time. Uh, so those uh, cells, are going to produce uh, also soluble uh, uh, substances that is going to help uh, in this uh, specific uh, function that they are going to perform and uh, cells. Uh, so here uh, for you, you have to know all of those cells of our immune system uh, and their functions. Each cell, when I say T helper or uh, T cytotoxic cells and, and what do they uh, uh, do as a uh, function? Uh, cell, uh, uh, so when cells are involved uh, in the uh, killing or destruction process, we call that uh, cell mediated immunity, and usually are mediated by uh, uh, lymphocytes uh, in, in, in particular. If antibodies are uh, involved in clearing those uh, uh, viruses or bacteria or toxins, whatever, we call that a humor uh, in your response. So the word humor, uh, it means the presence of antibody that are going to clear uh, our uh, immune, uh, our body from uh, uh, pathogens. So uh, antigen then uh, the, then in order to achieve uh, uh, this goal, the antigen, the foreign antigen that uh, is present in our body, body uh, uh, it has to be uh, presented to those uh, lymphocytes uh, through different cells, and we call those uh, antigen uh, presenting cells, like for example macrophages and so on. So mac and in order for cells to be destroyed, or for B cells to produce antibodies uh, efficiently through what we call the adapted immune system, the antigen has to be presented by what we call antigen presenting cells to those lymphocytes uh, in order to uh, perform that function. And we will talk about those antigen presenting cells mainly are the uh, uh, macrophages are that are going to do that. Okay, this slide uh, uh, shows the uh, different uh, stages uh, uh, then of the uh, what we call the humor immune response and how antibodies uh, that can uh, clear uh, in, in infections 
and, 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 and general. Uh, it goes uh, through many different uh, uh, phases. The uh, first uh, phase, uh, we call it the cognitive phase, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, cell has to recognize uh, the uh, uh, antigen in order to produce uh, these uh, antibodies. Then the uh, these cells are going to be uh, involved here, uh, and then they are going to be activated. So we call that the activation phase. Then this is the second phase. So recognition phase, and then activation uh, phase, and then uh, the uh, third phase uh, 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 is uh, here the um, effective phase where. Uh, here the antibodies when they are produced then they are going to clear out the uh, infection okay this uh, the slide shows the uh, second uh, arm of uh, the uh, immune system which is the uh, innate or the uh, non-specific which is important in uh, defense as well and uh, we talked about that in fact if you remember before uh, the uh, uh, process of what we call phagocytosis, uh, and uh, uh, phagocytic cells in general, uh, the neutrophils, uh, as you can see, and macrophages, they uh, perform uh, uh, that uh, function. So when we are infected with uh, bacteria, for example, we can see so many of those phagocytic cells that they can uh, be uh, uh, produced as markers here that we have uh, bacterial uh, infection, and then they will clear those uh, pathogens from our body. So remember, the neutrophils, as well as macrophages, are the uh, phagocytic cells in our body that performs the process of what we call phagocytosis. So uh, uh, the, uh, we, we, we are still talking about uh, the adaptive immune system and how the adaptive immune system uh, can uh, be uh, modified to clear infections specifically and has memory in our body. It can be mediated uh, by uh, antibodies and uh, we uh, talked about uh, that. And also it can be uh, uh, modified or activated also by uh, cells. So cell here we call that cell mediated uh, immunity like the uh, T cytotoxic uh, cells and when you look uh, into a lymphocyte and uh, if you if you uh, they look at all uh, the, the same whether they are activated uh, or uh, inactivated but the uh, activated lymphocyte in general they can kill yeah, what we call uh, virally infected cells uh, uh, in general. I mean, antibodies, they can be neutralized toxin, uh, they can help in the phagocytosis process, but the uh, activated uh, lymphocyte, they can kill virally infected cells and clear that cell uh, out from our body. So the uh, 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 process uh, uh, of uh, the uh, adaptive uh, uh, immune system and the uh, production of uh, uh, antibodies and what we call the acquired uh, immune response has to uh, pass uh, through what we call an antigen presenting cells. And the antigen presenting cells are so many, uh, like uh, for example, uh, here one type of a macrophage that we call it uh, the uh, dendritic cells. So the dendritic cells, they take uh, the antigen, they degrade it, and then they present that uh, to T helper and to, uh, to uh, uh, B cells uh, in order to be uh, modified, and then they are going to produce uh, antibodies. So in the acquired immune response, the human immune response, uh, in order for the uh, B cell to produce uh, uh, antibodies, they have to be uh, uh, presented uh, with what we call dendritic cells or antigen uh, 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 presenting uh, uh, cells to the uh, key helper cells and then to the uh, E cells to uh, produce the uh, antibodies. 
so uh, uh, this uh, slide uh, it, it shows how our uh, uh, immune system uh, can uh, recognize the uh, uh, antigens and uh, clear it from uh, our uh, body in general. Whether that is uh, on the uh, within the cells or intracellular, uh, for example, or on the surface of uh, uh, cells, for example. So here you can see how uh, antibodies and cells uh, are uh, in, involved in this uh, process. So here when we talk about uh, intracellular, for example, uh, bacteria, viruses, and so on, we will see how uh, uh, lymphocytes and the killer lymphocytes they play a role in the destruction of the virally infected cells or tumor cells, for example, uh, or uh, parasitic uh, cells uh, uh, in general. So uh, antibodies can play a role, but cells also they can play a role in the destruction of cells. And this is uh, what we call the uh, human immune response related to the antibody function or the cell mediated immunity uh, related to how cells they can destroy uh, uh, cells. For example, macrophages can be activated by uh, here uh, mycobacterial uh, cells. The mycobacterial uh, tuberculosis activates the macrophages and macrophages can uh, uh, kill uh, here the uh, uh, bacteria uh, as well as uh, uh, virally uh, infected cells in general. So it depends on the uh, uh, process of, uh, of pathology that is involved and how the immune uh, mechanism uh, uh, that it is going to be involved in clearing out uh, the pathogen. Whether cells can be uh, cleared out or uh, antibodies by neutralizing uh, toxins, bacteria, or even viruses. Okay, this slide uh, shows uh, how the uh, uh, vaccination uh, the programs in general uh, work and why we do give uh, more than uh, uh, one dose. We call that a, a booster dose. So when we give the first dose at uh, uh, zero time, we can see how the antibody level is going uh, to go up and then memory cells will develop and when we give the second dose you can see that much more antibodies are going to be produced and will add the third dose so usually we give three doses but we, we cannot give that forever and uh, no more than three doses because uh, if we keep doing that then a very large amount of antibodies are going to be produced and this is going to be what we call a negative feedback that will suppress the uh, immune uh, system. So uh, here then when we talk about uh, the uh, uh, immune uh, system and how to activate our uh, immune system, uh, it could uh, uh, play a, a, a direct role and let our body produce uh, antibodies or activated cells and uh, uh, we call that an active uh, uh, immunity or we can give the products of the immune system ready made uh, from one patient into another and we call that a passive uh, uh, immune response. So uh, uh, then if we have, then if we are going to have a direct role uh, in response uh, to an antigen uh, this is uh, an active uh, uh, immunity, and if it is already made and send it to give it to patient, this is a passive immune response. So, if we transfer the ready made in immunity from one individual to another, this is a passive uh, uh, immunity. So, uh, same thing can be applied in uh, if you have the cells ready made and send them to patients, we call that passive cellular or let the body makes the cells activated and given to other patients we call that uh, uh, an active uh, uh, immunity. So we can do that uh, by uh, cellular 
uh, or the human and antibodies can be transferred or cells can be transferred. So this uh, uh, slide uh, also summarizes the uh, phases of the immune response as uh, we talked about. It started with the uh, uh, cognitive phase, the receptors were the antigen recognition uh, molecules uh, through the selection theory that we have talked about. And then when that takes place, there is then an activation phase uh, is going to take place, we call it the activation uh, phase and the proliferation of the uh, same uh, uh, here, uh, uh, receptor or antigen recognition molecule. And then as an outcome when uh, antibodies, for example, or cytokines are produced, we call that uh, the uh, uh, effect or uh, phase of production uh, of antibodies or uh, cytokines. So in uh, summary, then, uh, we need uh, to talk about the uh, antigen uh, uh, recognition uh, uh, molecules, which are the uh, uh, B-cell B -cell, uh, receptors or the uh, T-cell receptors, and of course the regional histocompatibility molecules, those ones they have to be so diverse and so many, so they can adapt and cover uh, many different uh, uh, the uh, uh, coverage uh, of uh, our uh, immune system. So the uh, uh, antigen uh, recognition uh, molecules uh, in them uh, are the uh, uh, antibodies, the B cell receptor and the T uh, cell receptor. And uh, uh, it is so important to know that uh, those they have to function through uh, the uh, antigen presenting cells and the major histocompatibility antigen. So the antigen, the uh, major histocompatibility antigen then uh, uh, is going uh, to bind to the antigen and then help in the antigen uh, uh, presentation uh, uh, then into uh, uh, those cells. So always when we talk about the antigen recognition molecules in the specific immune response, uh, we cannot talk about those uh, without talking about uh, the major histocompatibility antigens in the antigen presentation.